Hi there, Mr. Holcomb here with another episode of The Math Behind the Modules. This is Lesson 30, Conversion Between Celsius and Fahrenheit. Okay, so Celsius is a measurement and Fahrenheit is a different measurement of the same thing. If you're from the United States, you use Fahrenheit. If you're from most other countries in the world, you use Celsius. So whenever we move or are close to something, for example, I used to live way up, I was way up northern New York, right on the border in a bordering town in New York. That was a few miles from a border crossing at the St. Lawrence River to get us into Canada. Closest cities were Montreal and Ottawa. So I used to listen to radio stations from Montreal and Ottawa and they would tell the temperature in Celsius. So if I was listening to the weather report and they said it was 23 degrees Celsius, I wasn't certain what that felt like because we're familiar with Fahrenheit. So you think 23 degrees without saying Celsius or Fahrenheit and you're thinking, okay, I need a coat, jacket and hat because it's below freezing, it's cold out. Um, when in all actuality, 23 Celsius is quite comfortable. So in those situations, and like right now, I am in Sicily, Italy's, and Italy, and the temperature that they use here is Celsius. So when I drive by a the bread store in my town where they sell bread, um, they have a thermometer outside that shows temperature Celsius. So on my way to work, I see that, but it's not in Fahrenheit, and I need to do a conversion to f realize what the temperature really is. So that's what we need to do this for, those types of circumstances. All right, so the first classwork says mathematical modeling exercise. One, if T is a number for temperature, what is the degree in Fahrenheit that corresponds to T degrees Celsius? And two, if T is a number, what is the degree in Fahrenheit that corresponds to negative T degrees Celsius? Okay, so what we need to do is what we what they've given you on your paper is a double number line and you should work with somebody or try to figure this out see if you can come up with a pattern that will give you values between 32 and 212 and then what can we do to the left below 32 and zero okay so the first thing we need to do is realize how far it is from here to here and how far it is from here to here distance is the same but our unit of measurement is different because one's fahrenheit and one is celsius so how much did the temperature change from freezing to boiling is the first thing I'm going to do. So if I take the boiling temperature, 212, and I subtract 32, then 2 minus 2 is 0, and 21 minus 3 is 18. So there is 180 degrees difference between freezing and boiling in the Fahrenheit scale. On the Celsius scale, to get from 0 to 100, well, obviously 100 minus 0 is 100. So the difference from 0 to 100 is 100. So if I wrote a ratio and said temperature, um, well, I should have left that there. Celsius is to, or Fahrenheit, no, I shouldn't have left that there. Fahrenheit is to Celsius, so I put F over C equals. Well, the difference in Fahrenheit from freezing to boiling is 180 degrees. And the difference between boiling and freezing in Celsius is 100 degrees. So I want to know for every degree Celsius, how much is the Fahrenheit scale changing? Well, I can cancel these zeros to simplify that. And 18 divided by 10 just moves the decimal place one. So every degree Fahrenheit, or every 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit is one degree Celsius. So if I go out to 33 degrees, that would be one. And then I got it. I want to go to 1.8. So 1 to 30, 33, 2 to 33 is a distance of 1. And 33 to 34 is a distance of 2. Well, I have 1.8. Well, this is 1 and this is 2. I don't want to go out to 2. I want to go out to 1.8, which is approximately here. And that is my 1.8. And so my number down below would be my Celsius temperature of 1. And if I did that again, if I go out to 35, and then another one, 36, obviously I'm not going to have room to do this because we're not getting to 212 very quickly going by ones, but I'm just trying to prove a point here. So now if I want to go from this point here, 
a distance of one would be here, and a distance of 0.8 more would be about here. 1.8 plus 1.8 is 1, 2, 3.6, which is a little more than half. So here it would be 3.6 degrees from 32, and that's where my two Celsius would be, which would actually be 35.6 degrees Fahrenheit. One degree Celsius is 33.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, and so on and so on and so on. Okay, so now it says determine the corresponding Fahrenheit temperatures for the given Celsius temperatures and exercises one through five. Now let me go back here and point something out to you. Okay, one degree Celsius is 33.8 degrees Fahrenheit. So what did we have to do to get that? Well, we took the Celsius temperature, one, and we multiplied it by 1.8. Well, one times 1.8 is 1.8. Okay, that doesn't give us 33 and 8 tenths. We have to then add the Fahrenheit freezing temperature of 32. So we take the Celsius temperature times 1.8 and add 32. And that is what we're going to do to solve these problems. So it's 1.8C plus 32 is F. Okay, so we came up with an equation, F equals 1.8C plus that freezing point of 32 because we need to add 32 to get to our starting point. All right, so now when I do this, it says to determine the corresponding Fahrenheit temperatures. I'm going to use that formula. Fahrenheit equals 1.8 degrees times Celsius plus the freezing point of 32 degrees. So now that I have this nice formula, then I can substitute in. How many degrees Fahrenheit is 25 degrees Celsius? So the Fahrenheit temperature of 25 degrees Celsius is 1.8 times 25 plus 32. Okay, so I get my calculator out and I want to know what 1.8 times 25 is. And it's 45 degrees. So F equals 45 plus that 32. So the Fahrenheit temperature for 25 degrees is 77 degrees. Okay. Now it says how many degrees Fahrenheit is 42 degrees Celsius. So we have this really nice formula now. So we say Fahrenheit temperature equals 1.8 times my Celsius temperature plus 32. So I'm going to write that again so I remember it. And Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times Celsius, which is, in this case, 42 degrees. So that's going to go here, plus 32. So my Fahrenheit temperature is going to equal 1.8 times 42. So 1.8 times 42 is 75.6 degrees. So 75.6 plus 32, get rid of that dot I made. And my Fahrenheit temperature will be um, 0.6. 5 plus 2 is 7, and 7 plus 3 is 10. Okay, so 32 degrees Fahrenheit, is that right? 1.8 times 42. Yes. 42 degrees Celsius is very warm. It's 107.6 degrees. Okay, so there you have it. Moving along. How many degrees Fahrenheit is 94 degrees Celsius? So Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times 94 plus 32. So remember, one, water boils at 100 degrees in Celsius. So we're close to boiling. So this is simmering as if nothing else. So Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times 94. I don't know why I'm writing that again. I need to calculate it. So I get my calculator. And I say 1.8 times 94 is 169.2. So I write 169.2 plus 32. So we're going to get that point 2 there. 9 plus 2 is 11, carry the 1. 6 plus 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10. So it's 201.2 degrees Fahrenheit. I should be putting degree symbols here. Okay. So 201 degrees Fahrenheit, which is very close to 212, which is boil. Now it says how many degrees Fahrenheit is 63 degrees Celsius. So Fahrenheit equals 1.8 times 63 
plus 32. So 1.8 times 63, 1.8 times 63 is 113.4. So 113.4 plus 32 will equal 0.4 staying. 3 plus 2 is 5. 1 plus 3 is 4 and bring down the 1. 145.4 degrees. So now it's saying how many degrees Fahrenheit is T degrees Celsius? So we have the formula F equals 1.8 T plus 32 degrees. Okay, so there you have it. All right, so that's the end. So I told you I was going to explain how to do this in your head because nobody's going to do this with a calculator. So let me go back and let's do number one. So if you look at 1.8, and this was a trick my father taught me, a shortcut. And he said to take the Celsius temperature, 25 degrees, and double it. Well, that's multiplying it by 2. So that's more than 1.8. Then he said, well, once you do that, you have to subtract 10%. Well, 10% of 2 is 0 0.2. So doubling something is times 2. Okay? And then taking 10% of something is subtracting 2. 0 0.2. 10% of 2 is 0.2. So if I double it and then subtract 10%, that's 1.8. So here's what he said to do. Take 25 degrees and double it. So you can do that in your head. What's 25 times 2? 50 degrees. Then you ask yourself, self, what's 10% of 50? 5. Well, 10% of 50 is 5, so when I subtract that 10% of 5 and get 45. And then he said, add 32 to that, and you get 77. All right, so that's how you would do it in your head. I'll do one more. Let's say it is 10 degrees Celsius. I double it. I can do that in my head. 10 times 2 is 20. 10% of 20 is 2, so I'm going to subtract 2 from 20, and that's 18. All can be done in your head. Add 32 to 18, and we get 50 degrees. So if I did that with the formula, F equals 1.8 times 10 plus 32, that would be F equals 1.8 times 10 is 18 plus 32, and F equals 50 degrees. And if you double it, subtract 10%, and add 32, booyah, you can do these in your head. Try it next time you hear a Celsius temperature and see how you do. Now go do your problem set.